Hi everyone, this is Garrison from Iron Kingdoms at War and welcome to the next installation of Building, building an Iron Kingdom's House. Uh, before we've done formally putting the structure together with styrofoam, we talked about etching in the brickwork with a, a pencil, adding the wooden framing and windows and doors, which all uh, the door will get a little more detail in later. Um, since that time I want to show you a couple steps I'm not going to show in detail, but they're, they're quite simple. Um, one is because the upper half of this structure, rather than brickwork, is going to be like a masonry. We want to show that effect by simply carving in some kind of breaking points with the pencil, kind of like how we use the pencil and the brick. We're going to draw in some curvy lines like the, and some divots to show some irregularities and some stress points in the masonry top half of this structure. So I've done that um, all the way around the structure. And the other thing is, make sure you, if you intend your chimney to be a another stone chimney that you do that same uh, brick etching on the chimney that we did before as well. So we want to make sure we do all that. Now what we're going to talk about is um, building the roof or shingling the roof you might say. And this is where things get really really expensive because we're talking about cardboard. Just kidding. This is actually a really cheap way to house your roof or to do your uh, roof on your house. Just cut up some cardboard from a cereal box or whatever, and uh, you've got basically a pile of shingles. Now you could do this really fine and detailed, like I've done on um, some structures in the past, real little tiny small pieces. But you know, I love the Iron Kingdom style that you see in some of the uh, rule books and supplements of these big, big kind of giant, oversized uh, sheet metal shingles. And so that's what I'm going to do. So uh, um, what I'm going to do is position some shingles over the top of this and uh, show you basically how that works. So you take your piece of cardboard and you apply some glue to that and then you put it on your structure. Now I want you to notice that I'm having some overhang um, on the end of the building this way and over the side of the building this way. You want some overhang on your shingle so it'll look right. So we put one shingle there. I'm actually going to do a shingle on, on the far side. This goes faster with these big shingles. And I do like that kind of sheet metal effect. So that's good news because when you're doing the little shingles it can get a little tedious although the effect is, uh, is really neat. So I've applied another shingle over there on that side with overhang on the side and the front of the building. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a shingle that overlaps over those two. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay. So uh, you want a lot of overlap with these shingles. You want it to look ramshackle for it to have the Iron Kingdom's war machine feel to it. So I've now applied a center shingle that overlaps over the other two. Now, um, normally I would let these dry before I do the next step, but I'm going to go right to it. And I'm going to uh, point out before I do that that you'll see the finished roof in a couple minutes, but basically you continue to to lay shingles over each other in kind of a telescoping uh, fashion all the way up to the roof and then you crease a piece from with an exacto knife and have it kind of overlooping, uh, overlapping a frame over the top. But um, basically continue to lay those shingles up. But um, you're going to need some riveting on these metal sheet uh, shingles. A bunch of ways to do this. You can make some uh, hole punch rivets um, from plastic. Okay, you can see I've punched some little holes out of this plastic sheet before to make some rivets. You could uh, take modeling putty, roll it in a snake, a long snake, and cut it into little slices. And then what you get, you can see I have a supply here of both kinds of, uh, of rivets, cutting them with a hole punch, a tiny hole punch, like a leather punch. Um, you can make rivets from plastic or the putty type. But I'm going to use something that's really easy. I'm going to use dress pens, uh, good old-fashioned flathead dress pens, which make nice rivets. So what I do, it's going to be a little hard to see here, you take your dress pen, business end down, you're going to put it into the structure where basically this uh, shingle would actually be fastened, which is down near the bottom. So I'm going to put that in there. And what's going to be sticking out is a nice little rivet head. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing kind of down the line. These go right in because all that's behind this thin cardboard is, um, is of course just styrofoam. 
and I'm going to continue with that. Now these are a little straight, to be honest. You know, I want the idea that this is just kind of put together ramshackle. See, my I'm glad I'm sliding a little bit here because this is, I should normally wait for this to dry. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what this looks like. So I'm going to try to get out of that straight line pattern, so these look a little bit more irregular. But basically, I'm placing my rivets in there, um, i.e., dress pins. And I'm going to go all the way down the line. Yeah, you know what? They had to refasten this one once in the old days, so I got an extra one out of place here. So um, you're going to get this like nice, more or less line of rivets. And then as we overlap, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm not actually going to put this on yet. We're going to go like this, and we're going to do another line of rivets where these overlap. So again, normally I would glue this on, but you're going to get an idea there of just how that's going to work. So another line. So anyway, I'm going to work on that roof. You go ahead and work on yours if you're building a project along with me. And then uh, in the next part of the video, you can see what the uh, finished roof looks like. Okay, so now I've got the uh, completed roof and uh, just completed it in the fashion I showed you with the uh, cardboard, the rivets made from dress pins, and you can see the final effect. Now you'll notice that um, earlier we had this kind of divot in the roof when I cut the styrofoam and I told you it wouldn't be a problem. And I want to show you, the reason I said that is because what we've got now, because there's like a uneven cut, is kind of a drooping roof, which actually, you know, is kind of a nice little effect for something in the Iron Kingdoms to be have that imperfection to it and the wear and tear of time. So that's our roof ready to go. Basically, this house is done. Um, we're, we can add some details, which I'll probably show in a future de uh, video. But before we leave, I did want to go over one little piece, which is detailing the door. Now, um, detailing the door, we could do this in a bunch of ways. We could create a door of uh, wooden panels using co more coffee stirs. You know, just kind of put these side by side, make some wooden slats for the door. We could um, put a single piece of balsa wood in here and carve a door in. I'm going to carve the door right into this um, cardboard piece that we started with. So I'm going to make some vertical slats. I'm just going to carve kind of the pattern of a wooden door, which you really can't see very clearly on the video, but trust me, it's, it's going to show up during painting. I'm going to carve that in. I'm going to go over those cuts to accentuate the different boards that make up the door. And then just to give it a wood texture in between those, I like to go and just scratch a little bit to um, give it that irregular wood look. Now again, that's really not showing up too clearly in the video when we painted it well. The last thing we need to do is add some metal framing to this door. So I am going to glue on a couple of small pieces of cardboard like that and then I'm going to add some rivets on top of those probably my hole punch or my putty rivets um, and then uh, you could be good to go and your house is basically done so that's the uh, Iron Kingdom's house the basic structure uh, future videos I'll show some detailing work you can do as well as painting this thing so I hope that helped, um, and go make your own. It's a lot of fun. It's as easy as it looks, and uh, I look forward to any comments you want to share on your own experiences making the uh, War Machine house. Uh, and so this is Garrison signing off. Happy Wargaming, everybody.